use my unique factor? Sure, so that'd be great. Sort of separate me? Okay. Yeah. So I'll use myself as an example. So I focus on my unique factor as <laughs> being a cross pollinator of my talents yeah. and expertise, you know, in cross industries or cross niche entrepreneurship. And as you mentioned in the bio, you know, some of my roles that I serve in as a multimedia a multi-industry media personality, actually, and a cross-niche journalist. And one of the things that I powerfully show up in is that I provide over 100 journal-style trainers and many books, and I also use those as marketing uh, vehicles as entry with ease into other industries. And I also specialize in customizing uh, cross-branding to entrepreneurs who really desire to repurpose their brand in order to serve in a variety of different venues. So the unique factor about that is that there's not a lot of experts, if any, really teaching that model. And even though there are some who teach the niche marketing, but it's really from, let's say, the perspective of showing you how to make profits in a hidden market or promoting several affiliate products to make money in different industries that maybe you don't even have a passion about or even have no background in. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that because you certainly can discover a new passion for a market and learn about it and begin to add value uh, to others to make a profit. But normally people who are very passionate about being entrepreneurs are going to be the tribe that's really interested in taking uh, the limits off of their current business frameworks. The ones that I would serve would be ones who want to cross-pollinate their offerings so that they can serve and be more expansive with using what they already have. So they want a connection to whatever it is that they're sharing. Um, So focusing on the unique factor of your branding will powerfully position you to show up really as a new era pioneer in the media.